outdoor living. Another early morning episode of travel. Uh, heading back down to uh, Atlanta, Georgia, then the drive over to Augusta, Georgia. We're still working on that project out there uh, for the green jackets. Pavers are all down the ground, the last report I heard, and now we're going through and set up and get cuts and all that other stuff. So uh, probably a two-day vlog, because I don't think I'll make it today, but I'm here a little early um, uh, because of logistics and things like that. People who travel understand what's going on. It is Easter Sunday morning, and I'm at the airport at 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, trying to catch that flight because logistics of trying to get in on Monday and getting to work is a big headache. So sometimes you're caught traveling early, leaving the house, and you I mean it's a holiday. It is what it is. You got to do what you got to do. Again at uh, Augusta, we're not even in Georgia, are we? No, we, uh, we, we crossed the river. Oh, we crossed the river. So now we're in South Carolina, but it, it it's Augusta. They <laughs> trying to make up stuff. We're here at the the Green Jacket Stadium for for the professional baseball team. Yeah, it's a uh, yeah. And well, uh, pretty much all 8,000 square feet, 8,500 square feet of pavers on the ground uh, with Clayton and his team curb appeal. Now we're here today uh, doing all the cuts, getting everything ready. And uh, what do you think about the system of cutting? and how we getting that going. As long as we can keep the brick feeding the saw, I think we're good. Say about three and a half, four hours, we'll have that whole run done on the one side, and I'll show some pictures of it. Uh, but we're here in Augusta, Georgia, getting the Green Jacket Stadium ready for uh, their first game. Are we here renting tools, because the saw we have, is, is it's okay, but uh, we're trying to cut a lot today, so we said, well, let's get another saw. So now we're here at uh, Sunbelt, uh, trying to wait for the saw man to put the saw in the truck and they charge us what an environmental protection fee How much was that? Uh, like $11.49 and 49 cents $11 for environmental protection fee now now when y'all figure out what the hell environmental protection fee is Hit me up and let me know we getting these cuts going. There's a lot of cuts going. We got two saws blazing Eight guys on site, ten guys on site? Eight, eight or ten, something like that. I, I don't know if we count for any crew, because uh, I think you got to count us, but I don't think we count for <laughs> no, anything. No, we don't count. <laughs> but we out here knocking out. we're having is the sand that backed out for the job in between the pavers to sweep in they're like a number 89s or a number eights depending where you are depending on what region they have like a different name on the sift and the size that they makes the sand and the problem is it's not fitting in the crack so we we were we clayton and i just said we're going to come to the quarry and find the right product and see if, if they have to make it or sift we it or shake nines, it. Nines, we not need nines not 89 yeah, yeah that's what we need nines not 89 to get this thing right you know I mean, they're specking it for, I would say, more of a concrete paver, not a clay paver, because there's inconsistency in these permeable cracks. We gotta get it right. We're at the quarry, and we thought we found what we needed, but it's still not enough. Actually, what we needed is like falling off the belt at the top of the system, but they can't get us that, because those are just the fines falling off the belt. Uh, the engineer spec what you call a number eight, but what we need is like a number nine. It's just a size, it's a name of the sift that breaks up the gravel and things like that. It comes off the conveyor belt. And the problem is the one that we're using is too big is what they have. They don't make anything smaller. So we found something, but it's the trash that comes off the conveyor belt. We can't get it. All right, so we went through the whole quarry <laughs> and we finally found some. We got them, uh, it was some garbage coming off the line, but garbage means the machine has like a little sift and it shakes off the gravel that it doesn't use and come to find out the gravel that it doesn't need is what we need. 
<laughs> so uh, we talk to them and they're gonna run it back through for us and give us about 100 tons of it. Yeah, 100 we only need about 40, but we get 100 just to make sure that we have it for maybe the next job. As we were landing, I got a text from the contractor saying that uh, all the cuts are in, the sand worked, and uh, looks like they're knocked out. So here we go, another one on the book, Curve Appeal, knocked that one out with the assistance of VizX Design Studios helping to consult on uh, the speed patterns and the efficient ways of laying to pick up speed and pace for uh, larger projects. Hey, we're elevating the outdoor living. How much you want for that bulldog in your yard? Oh, Ben <laughs> just got that. I'm going to give you the money, you know, to buy you a mirror. Yeah. So he ordered two, and then it cut off on him. Jeff had to go and followed him. I thought, yeah, I can see you following instead of you pushing. Yeah. And pushing it, and he kind of dropped it at one point. Broke that mirror on oh, the same crap. one. Oh, <laughs> crap. Then he had to put a battery in it, one thing after the other. So.